I'm Ilan Rua Wall. I'm an associate professor at the University of Warwick Law School. My video abstract is for an article entitled Policing Atmospheres, Crowds, Protest and Atmotechnics for Theory, Culture and Society. The article begins in 1983 when the British police forces adopted their first comprehensive public order policing manual. Until then, equipment had been rudimentary, training had been scattered and strategies were very basic. The British manual was borrowed largely from the Royal Hong Kong Police Force, who gathered their tactics in turn from a century and a half of colonial policing and counterinsurgency around the British Empire. The manuals and training materials produced in the UK between 1983 and the present day provide an untapped archive of critical analysis. This article reads that archive for its effective analyses of policing and protest. Drawing on the work of Ben Anderson, Theresa Brennan and a number of others, the article develops an atmospheric analysis of public order policing. The idea is simply that police seek to shift atmospheric dynamics in order to influence the behaviour of crowds. If the effective atmosphere conditions the capacity of protest crowds to act, then the police atmospheric interventions seek to change the potential of protests. The article develops the term atmotechnics to describe interventions that are specifically designed to affect atmospheres. This is useful more generally as it steers us away from the very difficult ontological implications of atmospheric analyses and focuses our intentions instead on the technology, technologies designed to manage behaviour by determining or intervening in the atmosphere. In the context of protest, atmotechnics help us think about the strategies of policing and protest without getting caught up in the traps of social identity models. The article undertakes a closer reading of the first British Public Order Manual from 1983 and the latest iteration developed after the failures of policing the G20 protests in London in 2009 and the death of Ian Tomlinson. The manuals reveal gradual shifts in atmospheric and affective strategy. Very briefly, the first manual focuses on how the police can project their force to terrify crowds into submission or dispersal. The manual suggests that if crowd crowds do not respond to this effective show of force, then the police switch to the use of physical force. The most recent public order paradigm deploys specialised officers to develop long-standing relationships with particular protest groups. When these groups protest, the protest liaison officers are then best placed to sense mood changes among the crowd. These mood changes are then fed to the control room as a hybrid form of intelligence, which allows tactical decisions to take account of atmospheric conditions. This creates the possibility of feedback loops where, police, where the police control room can test tactics to see the effect that they have on crowd atmospheres and moods. This advances police significantly beyond the original linear approach to collective mood and atmosphere, increasing their responsiveness helping to understand the effect that their interventions have on the atmosphere and mood of the situation. The article concludes by suggesting the possibility of a counter-archive of protest atmotechnics. Such a counter-archive would have to entwine the analyses of objects and spaces and behaviours with the more ineffable and transient moments of intensity and exhaustion. It would not simply re-articulate the familiar repertoires of protest, but sensitise us instead to the atmospheric dynamics of these repertoires.